Hi, it's Dr. Rucker again. This is a, a nice video we're making for the upcoming year. 2018's coming. I thought it'd be fun to share with our wide audience some of the very interesting discoveries I've made. Some people know me because I do a lot of stem cell procedures, I do a lot of sports medicine, I do a lot of injury management. But my initial background and in training is what this video is about. I was trained as a urologist. I trained at Cornell in Manhattan in Sloan Kettering. Over the past year, I have bridged my approach to holistic medicine and natural treatments with my urologic surgical skills and understanding. I want to share four patients that I treated and with really interesting results using a combination of ozone therapy, stem cell therapy, and some of the homeopathics that I use. I'm not going to really labor the details of each patient, but I like to describe what I found over the past year in four different patients. So the first patient came to see me because he had benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. In this case, I did a series of injections weekly around the prostate area with ozone, and he had remarkable results. We never, uh, some, some of the patients, you know, we're talking about genitourinary issues. Our patients love sharing their musculoskeletal injuries, but it's very hard to get my patients on camera to talk about erectile dysfunction, incontinence, prostate problems. So I'm just, these are some rare patients that I'll just have to give you the information. We do, we have some links from other physicians I know where the patients were kind enough to share the information. So we'll link some of those videos too. So prostate issues is the patient number one. The second patient that I had phenomenal success using my stem cell therapy and ozone was erectile dysfunction. So this patient had failed the use of Viagra and Cialis, which are oral products. And uh, he was confronted with having to have a penile prosthesis placed next. So I did my stem cell regenerative package for erectile dysfunction, and his uh, erectile function went from uh, a 2 on a scale of 1 to 10 to a 7 to 8. So we were, he, myself, and his uh, partner were very pleased with the results. The third patient that we treated had an elevated PSA and a stable prostate cancer that he elected not to treat. So we did a series of injections around his prostate, and we found his PSA decreased much to the chagrin of his oncologist and his conventional urologist. So that was, that was a phenomenal result. So in 2018, we'd like to use more of that. And the final patient that I treated was very interesting. It was a, probably the first one I did in this style of treatment. She had two issues. Number one, she was not able to derive any pleasure during intercourse with her partner. And secondly, she had incontinence. So I did a stem cell PRP ozone injection into the vaginal wall and she had much better relationship with her partner from a standpoint of uh, pleasure. And secondly, her incontinence resolved. So I, I, I thought it'd be very interesting to provide that information because we are gonna have different pa patient packages in 2018 for these conditions. And they are very difficult to treat and the conventional methods are not often acceptable. So if you have any questions, give us a call. We're happy to entertain questions and give you a consult on this matter, 941-448-1199. Thanks.